Here we are at the disgorging line. The disgorging line has recently been upgraded with new equipment to automate every step of the disgorging process. Disgorging is the final and most explosive part of Method Champenois sparkling wine production. Disgorging is a process of removing the yeast lees and sediment that were added during the tirage and moved to the neck of the bottle during riddling. Bottles are placed neck down into the Champagneau, which is a cold glyco bath. The neck of the bottles which contain the sediment, are immersed in about two inches of glycol, which is at negative 23 degrees Celsius. This process freezes the wine and sediment, resulting in an ice plug, which will later be removed, leaving behind a brilliantly clean sparkling wine. Disgorging is the process of removing the ice plug. The equipment is called the disgorger. It will remove the crown cap that was applied at Tarage, and the six atmospheres of pressure in the bottle will eject the plug immediately. The ice plug is collected in a separate vessel and the clean disgorged wine moves down the conveyor to the next step, the doser. The doser is probably the most interesting part of the disgorging line as it allows winemakers a final opportunity to add a personal touch to the wine using dosage. As the wine enters the dosing unit, it will travel through the machine a total of three times. First step is to remove a small amount of wine to make room for the dosage liquor which is added on the second step. The dosage liquor is a sugar wine syrup that will deliver the finishing touch needed to balance the acidity and bubbles in your wine. There is a wide range of dosage liquors one could choose to use as well as residual sugar ranges in sparkling wine from very sweet to natural or completely dry. This is determined by the style of wine you are planning to make, balance, and by performing tasting trials. The final step in the doser is to top the wine to the desired volume before cork is inserted. The corks used in sparkling wine are quite different than its still counterpart. The corks are not produced in the mushroom shape we are accustomed to seeing when opening a bottle. The mushroom shape is a result of the way the cork is inserted. They are only inserted partially and the shape is a result of both the portion not in the bottle and the compression caused by the wire hood. The wire hood, or muselet, compresses the cork but the main purpose is safety. It prevents the cork from flying out of the bottle and also presents another customization of packaging for the client. Now that the wine is safely secured in the bottle, it is gently mixed to evenly distribute the dosage liquor in the wine. The dosage liquor is a dense syrup that will sink to the bottom of the bottle when dosed. Gently mixing the wine in the bottle, the inverter homogenizes the wine and syrup so each and every glass tastes the same. Next comes a bottle washer. Most wines are aged from 12 to 36 months in wooden boxes or metal cages, and dust will accumulate over that period. A quick spin in the bottle washer and dryer will make sure we have a perfectly clean bottle of wine ready for labeling. The final dressing for sparkling wine is the foil and label. Foils for sparkling are generally longer and wider than still wine foils. They also go through a two-step application process. The first step creates the pleats in the foil and the second step folds the pleats over to create a form-fitting foil that is both snug and attractive. Some clients have the option, after the foil, to apply a neck label. The neck label is a more traditional format for sparkling wine. We currently are able to apply neck labels using cold, wet glue, but will soon be able to apply pressure-sensitive neck labels. However, we are capable of applying both wet glue and pressure-sensitive front and back labels. With pressure-sensitive labels, we can apply a wide range of sizes, shapes, and paper stocks. Another recent upgrade has been our case erector and packer. What used to be a labor-intensive task has now been streamlined. The case erector and packer forms the case cartons and packs the boxes 24 bottles at a time. This increases the efficiency and speed of the line. As well as packing traditional 12-pack cases, we are also able to pack into six packs. After packing the bottles into cases, we apply a case sticker, which will include legal information, as well as any information a client would like to include, such as lock codes, label names, and barcodes. The palletizer and pallet wrapper replaces the repetitive and physical work needed to create stacks on a pallet. This piece of equipment is programmable to create stacks on a pallet in any pattern desired. The pallet wrapper applies a clear shrink wrap to the outside of the pallet securing it and making it safe to travel. The pallet wrapper also uses shrink wrap material efficiently without waste. 
Since the installation of our pallet wrapper, we have seen savings of 60% less shrink wrap, adding to our goal to minimize waste and enact more sustainable practices.